I'm wrestling guys and I see his like wife and kids off to the side and it's like oh yeah, I have to beat him up in front of his wife. <laughs> First ever Campbell tournament, Sport, Campbell Sport youth, youth tournament. tournament. Yeah. Each other. Yep. I beat him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he likes to remind me of that. But. <laughs> what were some of the things that, that would be on these notes? Yeah, uh, so a lot of it was all like the secrets. More secrets. Cole doesn't <laughs> want to share the secrets. <laughs> we won state or whatever. And then like the day after we were in practice, like mm -hmm. she was like, Aren't you like gonna celebrate a little bit? No. Yeah, we're going for it all. So world gold, Olympic gold, national titles all the way. UFC Just gotta, gold? Uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't maybe, know. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Clash of Combat podcast. Today, we're in we're in Wisconsin still, but we got Cole and Connor Mirasola yep. today. Yeah, good. Uh, thanks for here. having us. Let's go. Yep. yep. Talk to me a little bit about uh, just kind of your day-to-day -day here. Now, uh, you're done with high school, officially kind of going off to Penn State. What's this kind of summer before looking like for you guys? Yeah, so we've been just starting to, like, get dialed in for the, uh, like, U.S. Open, Olympic trials and stuff. So we're at Max's pretty much every day in uh, in Mequon, and then we'll head to, to, like, Ben's to train a couple times a week, too. Okay. So, yeah, so yeah. every day, I mean, Max, we do a lot of privates, too, with Max. So that's that gets us really dialed in because we got him Olympic trials in like less than a week, and then U.S. Open, then U20s after that. Has the daily regimen like changed at all since qualifying for the Olympic trials? No, not really. I mean, we're kind of just doing the same stuff. Like we're starting to game plan a little bit, obviously, but like kind of just trying to focus on what we do best. You so. don't know where you'll be in the bracket or anything, right? There's nothing like that out. I no, think so. I think seeds come out on Monday. Okay, but people have been posting stuff like mock-up brackets or whatever. So right. mm -hmm. I do, I do want to talk about everything here in the recent, but I kind of want to go back mm -hmm. in time just a little yeah. bit. Talk, yeah. talk about your kind of upbringing in the sport. What got you two yeah. both involved? Yeah, so I mean, we started in the Wildcats first practice in the East Wrestling Room. Yes, sir. I think Alma both modern, you guys baby. were there. <laughs> like yeah. we didn't have shoes or anything, but we just loved it from the very beginning, pretty much. Like. Getting our hands on people and just scrapping, I guess. No, no one else in your family wrestled, right? Our no. dad did for two uh, years. Oh, he did for two yeah. years. But okay. He got cut from the basketball team, so he wrestled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I think our first day, like your your grandpa was the one that was just like showing us like some moves and stuff. Really? So that was pretty cool. Yeah. I think you two were there actually. Oh yeah. If I'm I remember, sure. if I remember right, just for I'm like sure a wildcat one practice. One thing that I want to get into back back in the day. What do you think was the biggest difference between, let's say, wrestling at Wildcats to really like mm -hmm. going to like a club like Askren? What what was kind of a different factor that changed? Yeah, I think we just like saw some of the success like Askren guys were having compared to just like guys who did it mm -hmm. just like three months out of the year. How how soon did you go into like the club of Askren? How fast? Yeah, so we did like I think we did Wildcats for probably like I'll be the first three years just Wildcats. Three years mm -hmm. just so. Wildcats. Like second grade, we started Wildcats, and then probably like fifth, sixth, we went to uh, sixth grade, we went to Askren, and yeah, we just loved it. Like like minded individuals just who love wrestling and want to get better. Yeah, at that like, time, who were some guys that you were training with? Like the first couple of years at yeah, Askren. Yeah, so like obviously like Parker Keck guys in, and then like Dejan and Ellis, and then like some more guys, some more Ethan Riddle, guys. Noah Mulvaney, mm -hmm. Charlie Silas, and those are still guys Skulls. you're training. Yep. Yeah. You're still training like yeah. to this day. Yep. Like think about it. What is that? Oh, yeah. Almost going on over eight years. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool to yeah. see like guys that we just started with like going. Well, we got like five guys going to the Big Ten, and then a bunch of guys also committed big schools. So that's pretty. It's pretty cool to see that mm -hmm. for like Ashton. Yeah, and like in high school too, or Parker was like sophomore junior in high school and we were like seventh grade and we were doing privates with parker us two and one-on-one -on -one with parker and i was like now nah, you're seeing him win ncaa titles so that's yeah. pretty pretty cool mm -hmm. what what was your take on him winning the title after getting third a couple years in a row for him sealing the deal i mean we just really wanted like we were really cheering for him i guess you could say yeah. he's like our hometown kind of guy like he always like helped us out like at north shore so mm. yeah I didn't know you guys were doing privates with him while he was still in high school. Still, yeah. that's kind of yeah, crazy. Like, we think. would go watch him and wrestle at Fargo and stuff because, like, he was like the best guy at that time. So, like, we wanted to be like him, obviously. So, what are some things about private lessons? What make them so impactful for you guys? Because a lot of people just go to practices, like, let's say, yeah, I do club, I do my high school. Yeah. What's the point of doing the extra work of private lessons? Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, I'm pretty biased, but I think Max Askren is probably one of the best wrestling minds 
in the world and one on one with him. Like we used to do privates, us two and Max, but now it's just one of us one on one with Max. Mm. So we do a lot of like we talk through a lot of technique, but we also scrap pretty mm-hmm. hard too. And I he's mean, yeah. I, I remember I did a private with Max and uh it was preparing me for the state tournament my senior year. And he was like mm-hmm. he meant to be like a really good like mimicker of oh, like yeah. mimicking guys. Oh, yeah. Who has yeah. he kind of mimicked, I guess, for you guys in those private lessons? Anyone specifically? Yeah, so like getting ready for like senior level, we did like for like the Bill Farrell and like senior nationals, we did a little bit of like like Daringer and then like Trent Hydley a little bit now. Mark mm-hmm. Hall. Stuff. Mark Hall. Because I got to wrestle those guys, but yeah. S- saying those names and like those guys were winning those big titles when you guys like were in yeah. middle school. Yeah. Like yeah. how does that how is that now being to being like, wow, these guys I used to like look at win these big titles. It's like that's mm-hmm. my competition. Yeah, I mean, because like at our house we have like pictures of wrestlers on our door. Like we had Mark Hall, Alex Daringer, really picture of these guys on our door, and now they're like our competition. Wow. So that's pretty <laughs> so it's kinda full circle, I guess yeah. you could yeah. say. With Max, what do you guys think about the I think it was, I saw it on Twitter, like Ben wanted him to take yeah. the coaching job at Wisconsin. I think that's a pretty <laughs> big rumor going around. But yeah. yeah, I don't know about that. I'm I, I I heard that. He's talked to us about it, but I don't think there's no chance we leave Penn State. That's not even not, we don't even think about that. So yeah. he's obviously done a lot for us, but Penn State kind of speaks for itself. So yeah. yeah. Um, after the success that, of course, they've had, like especially your, at your guys' weight, yeah. they mm-hmm. have everyone. Yeah. I mean, it, there's no point yeah. of going to another organization. Was there ever yeah. a doubt in your mind of going anywhere else? I mean, we were getting mm-hmm. recruited by like a bunch of different schools, a lot of good coaches, a lot of good teams. But, I mean, when we got a phone call from Kale, I was like, right. Well, because it was like you guys were yeah. about to commit to Parkside, and you're like, wait, yeah. you're, Kale you're called. Pretty close. Yeah. You're close. Kale called. <laughs> <laughs> we got to overthink this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I still want to kind of talk about your guys uh, earlier in the, your high school career. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. talk, to, talk to me about like that first high school season. Did you both know that you're like, like we, hey, we could be, you know, four time state champs as like brothers? Mm-hmm. And then kind of that first tournament goes. Um, yeah. Can you both kind of describe that first? Yeah. So, so it was a COVID year. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It was really weird with COVID. Like we had to wear masks and stuff, and we only got like 20 matches in. Mm-hmm. But like I didn't really think a lot of people like thought we could even win our freshman year because like, Noel Mulvaney, he was like the top, number one ranked guy in the state. And like, I don't think I was even ranked coming to the state tournament. And then I ended up winning like in overtime mm-hmm. in the finals. But yeah, I don't think people really thought we could win. So we ended up winning. So that kind of helped our confidence. Yeah. And then your first year, Cole. Yeah. yeah. Fifth place. Fifth place. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, it still kind of hurts me a little bit. It's been pretty cool to have four, like, yeah, two four timers. But I mean, seven's pretty good. Do, too, do, do you think those, uh, like those losses in that freshman year, do you think that propelled you to be like maybe more motiv- motivated or have more fire to like? I mean, yeah. Seeing him win kind of like, obviously, I'm super happy for him. But like, there's obviously jealousy too. But I mean, it's all it's all good. But mm-hmm. yeah, the year after, I was pretty driven to win like one, mm-hmm. and then just yeah, after that, all all of them. Was yeah. your which one of your was your favorite state title to win and why? Uh, mm-hmm. I'd say probably the first one in the Cole Center. Mm. First one in the Cole Center, the, yeah, that was it's pretty, a pretty cool. cool arena. It, like sold out a bunch of people, and then getting a pin in like 25 seconds in the state finals was pretty cool. <laughs> I would think that'd so, be all right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I almost felt bad for you for your fourth one. Yeah, yeah. that was that was pretty unfortunate yeah. having the guy forfeit. Dude, I mean, what, yeah. what even happened to him? They said he hurt his knee, like popped his LCL. So. Uh. He was, he was who knows scared. how true that was, though? <laughs> I mean, maybe if it wasn't me, he probably would have tried and wrestled. But yeah, is what it yeah. is. You guys yeah. could at least do do like like a little skit, something yeah. like because yeah. uh, like, he came up to the mat, shake his hand, and everything. Right. But I was. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I think I think he was really hurt. Yeah, but. yeah, I would say so. Mm-hmm. Your freshman year, you actually you both took out um, a future and current Parkside wrestler. You took oh, out, yeah, Brody. He took Brody. out Brody and he took yeah. out Caden Hooker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. In the fifth yeah. place match. Yeah. Yeah. And he, Caden Hooker, uh, obviously Brody's pissed because it was like overtime state finals. Yeah. But Caden Hooker holds that one close and dear that, it was, yeah. that he didn't get major. I think I might have, I think, I don't even know what the score was. 
Did I major him? I don't no, know. I don't no. think it was like seven to two or no. I think it was Ooh. like eleven six, twelve six. Oh, really? ah. Yeah, like <laughs> six takedowns. Uh, yeah. Kelp. Game, uh. <laughs> yeah. you should have yeah. got pinned. You're lucky. Yeah. You're lucky. Yeah. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now let's kind of go into this re- rec- recruiting process. Basically, yeah. you guys yeah. are like, I want to go to Penn State. Um, and you guys met Kale early on. When mm-hmm. was the first time you guys like met Kale? Yeah, so like. We actually sent Kale this picture after he committed, but like at the, I think it was 20, 2017 World Team uh, Trials in Lincoln, Nebraska, we we went to watch with our dad. And like we just, like we saw Kale sitting down low in the bleachers and we like ran down there and got a picture with him. And then we kind of just loved watching Kale and like loved watching Penn State. So that's kind of what ignited us to want to go there. In, in youth, didn't you guys have, didn't you guys get Penn State singlets? Uh, I thought you guys had... Uh, we uh, we always love Penn State and youth like okay uh, I, for I mean, some reason I thought you guys bought like the custom, custom you might have like Penn State headgear or something okay, maybe, oh, that, maybe, oh, that's maybe that, I think that was it yeah so is Kale basically at that like currently you think he's like your master Uguay oh, type oh deal? yeah sure. for yeah. sure do you do you um because man I'm just thinking like in Kale's like go, being I guess in that situation where you guys are young and you guys take your mm-hmm. picture with Kale yeah. Yeah. and then Kale like I'm just like thinking about it like going back in time. Like wow, Kale could have, have met you know two yeah. multi-time like let's yeah. say national champs, Olympic mm-hmm. champ because you guys yeah. had these goals. Yeah. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. Just in that time, I think would be just crazy. Yeah. yeah. We we like we were talking or whatever, texting him, and then we sent him that picture of us like we were like this tall sitting next to him. And he was like, "Geez, that is funny." Like yeah, ten years ago or something like that. We mm-hmm. met him. That was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So talk to me a little bit about your guys' first experience now wrestling on the senior level. Because you guys are still in yeah. high school. I mean, yeah. we know it's like, you know, Flo's kind of blowing it up over the water. Mm-hmm. These high school yeah. guys doing good at yeah. um, college, at or senior level. So what was your guys' first uh, experience? Yeah, yeah. We so wrestled. I got it. Yeah, you, you can go both <laughs> okay. separate. Both talk about <laughs> your ways. So like Ben and Max threw out the, like, threw, threw out the idea of us trying to qualify for the Olympic trials. Like last summer. Mm-hmm. last summer okay. so like the first step for that was like the bill farrell bill farrell in new york city so like i always watch that tournament like that's a cool tournament like a, at the new york athletic club just like they're all like right on top of you the mm-hmm. fans and stuff right in new york city so and that was another that one was that you had cool. to win too mm-hmm. so you oh, had to win that to, event to qualify, to qualify to the trials. for the trials yeah so like kind of talked about this with max but like he thought we could win right away like especially going like going into senior nationals like he was like you gotta don't like give these guys any credit more credit than they deserve you try to try to win so but like at the bill farrell i rattled off a couple of wins like early wins and then i had evan wick who like we spent a good amount of time with at Askren, like because he he's like friends with ben and stuff went to wisconsin so i i beat him and that was kind of like a breakout performance i guess you could say that kind of I don't know. I think a lot of people about that, like the Evan Wick match, thought it was kind of a fluke mm. first time because it was in like a far ankle scramble. He like caught him on his back and pinned him. Yeah. But then keep going. I mean, yeah. yeah and then I wrestled him in the, wrestled him in the Conti semis at senior nationals. So like if I won that match, I knew I was qualified. I knew I wouldn't have had to wrestle for fifth. Mm-hmm. So I like, I, I had to get that one. And then I was able to win in a tight match. But, and Alex Danger. I mean, I and then, know. yeah, I was at the Bill Farrell, my first senior level tournament, I was able to wrestle Evan Wick, so like three time All American, and then Ringer and Hall. Wow. Which are pretty, pretty good guys. But going into those matches, like obviously we were talking, like you had pictures of these guys on your wall. Yeah. Like, what's like the mental preparation Mindset, prior, like yeah. right before going into the match? Like, is it the same as every other match, or is it switching up in your head? Yeah, I think you just got to treat it like any other match because, like, if you make it too big, like, oh, this guy's a Hodge Trophy winner, three-time national champ, you're, like, you're already in a bad mindset, so you just got to, like, treat it like any other match and kind of... Yeah, like, we were in a group chat with our buddies, and, like, we were wrestling these guys, and they are like, what the heck? These guys are wrestling, like, <laughs> NCAA champions and stuff, and we're like, yeah, this is, I guess this is our competition now. Yeah, yeah I awesome. mean, like, Max, Max, he's, like, good with that, like, good with the mental side, because we try to do a lot with the mental side, but, like... I don't know. I don't think you're there ever as good as you think they are. Like people put them on a pedestal and you, I don't think you should do that. Cause yeah. I mean, I would say like your guys is, um, I would say like basically every in high school, you guys are bounds mm-hmm. ahead of, you know, everyone else. How did, how were you guys like leaders on your team? Cause I sure everyone mm-hmm. like, you know, looked up to you guys. And even yeah. I, when I went to, uh, 
um, your guys' senior night duel for, like versus mm-hmm. East. I mean, it was yeah. clear like like all like the fans love you. Like you guys got mm-hmm. some recognition. And yeah. what did it kind of mean to wrestle? I guess for West as a whole. I mean, we really. We liked West Bend. I mean, our wrestling room in the dungeon of the school. Yeah, the dungeon. Between two locker rooms, <laughs> literally a dungeon. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, we like it. It it's was like Alcatraz. Fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we liked wrestling for West Bend. I mean, I think we uh, made a name for the school. Mm-hmm. At least I hope we did. But, like, obviously you guys and stuff, but. I think we made a name for it. We liked it yeah. a lot. Yeah. I, I don't like how how West has more state champs than East does. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's yeah, okay. We got yeah. we racked up a few yeah, over the I would past say couple so. years. Now yeah. we had um so basically for like if you'd win state you get a picture in the gym. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Steve Hoffman got two, still one picture. You get these boys <laughs> yeah. a picture. Yeah. Yeah. Now every we got year. a picture. His, they had one year. picture and they put this state title. Yeah. But yeah. now they put up a, a new picture yeah. every year. Yeah. So we got seven pictures out there Dude, in the gym. That's crazy. I was fine with that. I mean, <laughs> four different pictures. That I mean, the first crazy. picture he had a mask on, so like, oh uh, yeah, if that's, that's the one they're gonna do yeah. all of them that's for. A good point. Yeah. It'd be cool to have um, if they would make you guys like your old one of like a combination mm. yeah, of each yeah. four. You guys could like hang up mm, here or something. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Like West Bend was good. Like the coaches, like great guys, obviously. So they they kind of helped us with like mental stuff, just like stay in the stay in the moment and stuff, stay present mm-hmm. and stuff. So. Cause I mean, we would like help with the practices. Like we'd show technique, like show technique. We'd kind of like talk to the guys and stuff. But yeah, when we we needed to get a workout in too, so we wrestle. We just wrestle in the corner and just like scrap. So got got, pretty heated sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So you guys basically like had your own practice mm. inside the practice. Yeah, Cause so, I mean, yeah. if, if you do think about it, like these guys are competing against the best level of wrestlers in the world, and mm-hmm. they're in high school. And that's that's probably such a weird, um, mm-hmm. I guess, conversation. But I think it's like, it's that yeah, it was funny because like, like we wrestled in the corner every every day. Mm-hmm. So we had like we take a lot of notes. Which corner? Like you walk in right to the right. right. The Wait, right. you walk into the locker room? Yeah, like from, from the locker, the locker room, room and then all the way to the, the right, right, all the way to yeah. the right. I, I wrestled there a yeah. couple times. Yeah. <laughs> I, sh- I shed some blood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So we like take a lot of notes on notepads and stuff, and we like put them up on the walls. And like in our junior year, we had like we probably had twenty like note. twenty note on the mat, on the mat on the wrestling like on, the, on the wall on the wall. We'd like tape them to the mat, and like that'd be our practice plan for the day. Because like every week we'd have a private, and then we'd work on stuff, obviously, and then we Max would give us stuff to work on throughout the week, and we'd just do that. What were some of the things that that would be on these notes? Yeah, uh, so a lot of it was oh, like the secrets. More secrets. Call <laughs> us, I want to share the secrets. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I mean, a lot of it was like. A lot of it was technique, like earlier in our, like freshman, sophomore, junior year. But like there was some like sheets, like our sophomore year we wrestled at the Christmas tournament, which mm-hmm. was like our, like our school started to go to tougher tournaments as we yeah. got better. And mm-hmm. like there was like sh- like a one sheet on one guy and a whole another sheet on another guy. Like mm-hmm. we had like a ton of notes on one guy. Wow. So yeah, but I mean but- it's not like we're like just focusing on one guy the whole time, but sure. it's nice to know some stuff. Yeah. Be ready for the guy. You guys said uh, you're getting heated in the corner. Which one of you starting it more often? Him. He probably says me, but he could. I could say <laughs> no, the same about. I could say the same about him usually. But yeah, I but, mean, there's been some like pretty hard collar ties, but five minutes later, we're all good talking about technique or yeah. whatever. It's yeah, not, it's not. It never carries over to like home or anything. We're we're good. Like, has it ever when you good. were younger? I mean, I mean get, we wrestled like, each other in tournaments when we were younger, so that was a little like, oof. Got like at home some bad like, yeah. car rides home because <laughs> like our dad's trying to like stop us from crying and because one of us is mad at the other for beating the other one when we were in like second grade but yeah and then you guys started flipping the coin for winners right yeah, yeah pretty so much like, you made like this northern plains finals and like state state like freestyle state or whatever and we just flip a coin because it doesn't really benefit us to wrestle each other when we wrestle every day so practice yeah. do you know mm-hmm. who won more of the coin flips Probably me. I think he won more actually. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. It was like our first ever match. Like first ever wrestling match we wrestled. It was you I, two? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know like, that. It was like first ever Campbell tournament, Sport, Campbell Sport Youth, youth Tournament. tournament. Yeah. And yep. I beat him. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So he likes to remind me of that. But <laughs> first ever match. Yeah. yeah Who won funny. the last ever one that you wrestled? When was that? I think I won the last few. Yeah. Two or three, I think I won. I think won, it was yeah. like freestyle state. Like 
Probably like backside match. I remember we were at Freestyle Greco State and one of you wrestled Greco. And I remember oh, one yes. of you put some guy in a cradle. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was doing was, Greco and I like tried to cradle the Greco, like, no <laughs> yeah. Greco State Finals. He cra tries and cradles a kid, which, which was funny, obviously. And I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> Still attack the guy though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's yeah. actually a funny story. Yeah. Um, one thing too, every, every time, every year, Freestyle State, um, I don't know when it started, but we took we took yeah, that picture yeah, of me yeah, and then you yeah, guys. You yeah. guys were so short, and that's like yeah, bigger, 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 like bigger, bigger spots. Yes, like, that you was, were taller than us, and then we switched. That is crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is crazy yep. thing. Yeah. Um, when you wrestled um, Max Dean, that was your yeah. pretty big win. He was a uh, mm -hmm. you know a national champ, college wrestling yeah. national champ. What was kind of the the thoughts after the match? Because you you knew going in that you could beat him. Yeah. What were your kind of your thoughts, and what was like the mm -hmm. response of everyone? Yeah, like I was trying to like not get like super excited because like I still had wrestled Mark Hall in like a few hours, mm -hmm. but like I was I was pretty excited. Like Ben like got super like like super excited and stuff. But like it's funny like on our visit like less than a year before that like he was just, like showing us around and like super nice to us and like we really liked him because he was a, a great guy obviously and like liked how he wrestled. But yeah, and after the match. We're sitting in some like restaurant, and then he walks in like we talk like what's up and whatever. And, like, oh nice, super nice and whatever. Yeah, it was crazy that you beat him. But the thing I found like so weird when we went to Penn State the first time last summer, we mm -hmm. sat in the sauna and he came in and he's talking about like he's buying a house, he's renting yeah, it yeah. out to people, he's doing yeah. all this <laughs> stuff. He's at that point in his life, yeah, and yeah. then you guys are still in high We're school. We're still yeah, like in high school, taking it's, high school yeah, classes. So and weird. Funny, like I'm wrestling guys, and I see his like wife and kids off to the side, and it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think how at the, does that I feel think, when you're beating uh, a man, yeah. and these guys' kids like, oh, I'm kind of beating him up in front of his wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I, mean, I think at, like at the Bill Farrell, but. at the Bill Farrell, like I think one of the guys that wrestled wife was there, maybe even his kid too. Mm -hmm. But that's nothing like personal. It's just like yeah, whatever. Of course, yeah. It's just crazy that's it's happening. Like, it's kind of funny. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, a lot of those guys, like, especially this weekend, they're in a lot different point in their life. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not even graduated high school, and they've already gone through a whole college career and had a lot of success in college, but. That's true. It goes fast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. going into my fifth year, and it's like, dude, yeah. like, where did everything yep. go? Yep. It will legit be fast. Mm -hmm. Um. How I'm always, like, going to think of something to say. Like, I have something to say, but then I forget it. Okay. Uh so you guys have wrestled top wrestlers in high school, obviously top wrestlers in college. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between when you're wrestling these top college guys mm -hmm. versus these top high school guys? Yeah, I mean, we're – it's honestly the same. Like, we're not mm -hmm. just going to go, like, be mean to these high school kids. Like, we're going to be nice and stuff. But, yeah, we're going to work our work stuff and just, like, have fun, obviously. But it's, like, obviously, like, a whole different ball game wrestling some of the best guys in the world or country and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're still trying to work on our skills in high school too. Mm -hmm. Like, not really yeah, different. I think, I think senior level is like the pace is obviously just way harder. They just wrestle way harder. They hand fight way harder, and then like those guys also just like know how to win. Like in, during the break, when I was, uh, I think I went up pretty big on Max Dean. And then Ben was like, "You got to be ready to like, because he's gonna come hard because he's he just wants to win so bad, like all of them do." Mm -hmm. And like we were talking I, about this too, like, uh, like tactically wrestling high school guys, like you can kind of put it on them more, but like these senior guys, they come hard, like, like they're not going to stop wrestling like the whole time. Is it even just like the strength too, or it's just like the pace because I mean, yeah, yeah, they're, they're obviously super strong, but like, I, I don't know if like you can only be like so strong before you start to be like stiff or, mm. and stuff. So like, I think more about like, especially at higher levels, the difference is like nothing so you got to be you got to be smart you got to try to win the chess match like everyone knows a lot of technique but like how yeah. to wrestle a match tactically or wrestle yeah. through position or parterre mm -hmm. parterre i think is a huge thing mm -hmm. senior level like some of these matches like i'm in like i think parterre is a difference a lot of the time yeah one mm -hmm. last thing that's like a little one how did you guys distinguish who would go heavier and when would go lighter yes. i mean i've always wrestled heavier you just always did I'm, I'm like probably 10 pounds bigger mm -hmm. right now, but I've always wrestled bigger, so I'm kind of used to it. What do you guys weigh right now? I'm like 212 right now, trying to get 
bigger. How how, how do you get bigger? Well, bigger? What's kind of your plan? Is it just to like lift heavy, just start eat, lift like, a keep lot, eating? eat a lot? You like, could probably be eating more and lifting more, but yeah, it's yeah. hard to. Do you track like calories or anything? We used to, like freshman, some, sophomore year, but I was like, I was gaining a lot of weight. Like I was 180, like mm. I was like 190 something after I started doing that. And like, like, yeah, this is like mm. rice and beef, mm. just plain. Oh, God, <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Bad. it got pretty old. So pretty we made quick. it on Sunday, and then the Monday and Tuesday was pretty good, but then we'd eat it oh. Friday. It's like, oh, what is this? Do you guys plan on red shirting right off the bat, or is it just play it by ear? Just kind of whatever, whatever they think, whatever. Yeah, they whatever they have planned for us. I mean, obviously they they have a good idea of what like what what like works out. So yeah, have you guys met Bonnie yet? No, no we've heard, heard about her. Mitchell Mitchell told us about her. She said she's pretty cool. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How has it been seeing Mitchell's success too? Because him being yeah. an Astron guy, yeah. going exactly where you guys yeah. were, he basically yep. did a whole year before you guys yeah. would do it just to kind of see that. Mm-hmm. Does yeah. that make you think like, even though of course with your guys' accomplishments, is that even more mm-hmm. decipher it be like, wow, like I'm here, like I'm yeah. going here, I'm like, yeah. I'm I'm there to win it, win titles, yeah, really and sure. dominate. We're obviously really excited, but yeah, seeing Mitchell do how he did this year was pretty cool because like we were wrestling Mitchell last summer, and, like not knowing, like we were already committed to Penn State. And he was kind of looking at some other schools, but yeah, we were like, he like told us first, he yeah. was going to Penn State. He was like, let's, yeah, go. let's go. Wow. <laughs> Getting yeah. more Ashton guys at Penn State. So <laughs> who who would be another Ashton guy, do you think, to follow you guys? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't hopefully. know. You never know. I don't think people thought we'd be going to Penn State when we were little. Mm. So we kind of weren't that good, but. Do you ever think there's going to be like, do you ever think there's going to be a year where it's like over half the lineup? Is just Ashton guys. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. I wouldn't be surprised because because so far it's been like Ashton guys to go to like Missouri mm-hmm. has been like the, the yeah. feeding yeah, ground. Now to like there. Minnesota. Min- yeah, Minnesota has. Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, but yeah, like it'll be pretty cool. Like I think we were the first guys, like Kale recruited from Wisconsin. Yeah. Or like actually committed there from Wisconsin. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. I think he recruited Keegan a little bit, obviously. Mm. He's pretty tough. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's all right. Yeah. yeah. What did you guys so. think of that? Uh, um, I guess that that whole bracket play out. I mean, uh, that, that was that Keegan match surprised bracket. me. That was probably one of the most surprising matches of the tournament. Crosby wasn't surprised with the semis. Yeah, Carr and Keegan. I was just surprised that he gassed. Really. Yeah, that surprised me. I mean, yeah. you never know what's going on, but right. there's always stuff yeah. you don't know. But they were all sick yeah, like I mean, a few weeks before. I think people like I don't yeah. know why like. Car's a national champ. Like, I don't know why people were saying like, counting them Keegan's out. beating Car for sure, and then let's see the finals. Right. Yeah. Like, I don't mm-hmm. know why they were count, counting Car out. I mean, great wrestler, obviously. What did you guys think after Car won with his like matchup with Messenberg? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I thought Mitchell was gonna like he's obviously a great friend of ours, so it killed us to see him lose. But yeah, I don't yeah. know. What did, did you guys little, think uh, the stall calls were warranted? <laughs> I think they like could. I, I think they could. I think. Yep. I don't think you need to go. Out, I don't think you need to go out of bounds to like call a stall. Like sure. even if he's yeah. getting pushed halfway across the like, mat, it you can seems still like hit the refs him. would like wait the guy blow it out and then mm-hmm. go stalling. Yeah, like, you can still. I like, think you, you can, can still, still call a stalling when the guys they don't go out of bounds. Right. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, the only one I really didn't like was the when car reattacked. Yeah. Oh. yeah. oh yeah, the top. Yeah, I guess I didn't like that one either. On top. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I liked it. It was good, but yeah. But, a lot of people asked yeah. us about like if they got the riding time messed up or whatever. Oh, oh, was at it the, messed at up? the end? Did you? Yeah, I mean, or like, where I don't know if was like, this where he didn't know the score. Like maybe it wasn't on the screen. Oh, or something? yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I don't know. Have you talked to him since then? I mean, after the we tournament, we talked to him. Obviously, like we came up to him. We went down like, there. We to went watch. down there to watch Penn State get the trophy. Oh, he, came, he came up he to us. us and that was cool. And... But we didn't talk about the match. Okay, like, we just kind of. Hugged him and said, kinda, well, good job. It's kind of out of the next thing, like pretty, pretty quick turnaround for the Olympic trials, so we got to get ready. That's that's one thing. When we went to Penn State and there's um kind of like posters, up, not posters, but like maybe like drawn on drawn on like pictures mm-hmm. of like the quote, like, so what? And that was like, yeah. I think yeah. the big a big thing last year of like, oh, mm-hmm. like you won a title, you won this, you lost, like, so what? That was kind of yeah. a big yeah. thing. So you guys kind of already have that, um, mm-hmm. I guess, kind of mindset going in yeah, like, to the program. Yeah. Like yeah. our mom, yeah. a lot of the time, like, we won state or whatever or like and then like the day after we were in practice like mm-hmm. she was like aren't you like gonna celebrate a little bit no 
<laughs> like we kind of just wanted to yeah like job get finish. back in there. It's always nope. kind of on to the next thing for us. Like we got high goals, but we're not going to really stop. So for the the Olympic trials coming up for you, mm-hmm. what's kind of what would you be? I'd say satisfied satisfied with. Is it just winning? Like uh, is I'm it going for being, it all? I mean, why all? not? I mean, score starts zero zero. So I mean, yeah, it doesn't really matter if there's like Olympic champ or national champ. I think I can beat them. So. Yeah, I don't, think a a of, I don't think a lot of I don't think a lot of people like, like do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't think a lot of, like uh, I think on the flow thing like I didn't really look at it but my dad was like they didn't even say anything about you mm. so does that yeah. almost feel good that you're kind of like an underdog knowing you're kind of like people are sleeping on you but it's like you don't like care necessarily to it but yeah I think like there's obviously, really no like, pressure respect to y'all, obviously these guys are wrestling but like, yeah I like always looked up to David Taylor and Aaron Brooks and Max Dean and all those guys but like I don't think pressure is really even a thing. Even for David Taylor, like it's only kind of what you put on yourself. Yeah. So, what did you mm-hmm. think when he he's apparently now signed with Nike? I like yeah, that. I, I, Who is David Taylor? He's Nike now. I found that a little. How does that work? Yeah, because odd, I thought he was uh, owner of Scrap Life, or maybe because he has. I, think his, I know. I, I know. Nolf 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 and Nolf and Scrap Nolf Nolf, Nickel. Nolf and Ball. Yeah. But like we wear Nike. That's probably my favorite shoe, the Inflix. So. Mm-hmm. Wait, Penn State is Nike, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. all Nike. So. Yeah, yeah. That'll be good for us. To kind of double the question, have you guys gotten a role with anybody in Penn State room or in Nittany Lion yet? So, I mean, not really. With, like, the rules and stuff of us, like, there's so many rules about yeah. that stuff. And, like, everyone, all the eyes are on Penn State, like, can't break the rules. Yeah. Right. And then out of all those guys there, who are you most looking forward to getting to practice with? Oof. Uh, Probably Kale. Uh, yeah. Kale. Probably Kale. I mean I mean like David Taylor, Aaron Brooks. Like Kale, the whole the whole Casey, the whole team. Barner, but I could go I forever. Heard, I heard Kale. I heard Kale's pretty still got it. So. Yeah. So yeah. of course, like Penn State got at wrestling, you guys are going to wrestle. Mm. I almost think you guys are there just to see who can rate uh, get on the higher charts of dodgeball. Uh-huh. Is, yeah. that, is that the truth? They play there? dodgeball pretty hard. Like at, we went we went to the Iowa duel last year, like Yeah. They were playing dodgeball before the duel, and like the RTC guys were playing dodgeball, like a volleyball. Yeah. So, what uh, what strengths do you have in dodgeball coming into the room? Uh, uh, we play a lot of dodgeball. And weaknesses. And weaknesses. and weaknesses. That's true. Mm. I'd say I just throw it really hard. You don't, you don't know where it goes. You just throw it. <laughs> yeah, just throw it really hard. <laughs> That'll be fun, though. I think yeah. I can catch pretty good. So. Yeah. Yeah, let's just say, uh, Bo Bartlett, if you're watching this, you have nothing on us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just kidding. He wrecks us. <laughs> Yeah. He, he doesn't throw very good, but he can catch the ball. Pretty yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that is yep. true. Um, if you guys were to write out your perfect destiny in your wrestling career, how would that go for both of you? Ooh, four national titles to start off with. And yeah, then I think world teams, senior world teams, Olympics. Yeah, we're going for it all. So everything, world gold, Olympic gold, national titles, all the way. You I think you, you just got gold. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't maybe, know. yeah. I think you, you guys do have a uh, punching dummy and some speed bags over there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we used to yeah. do taekwondo. Oh yeah, <laughs> do some kicks. You gotta and have stuff. those left over, but yeah. I, I, I got some of your guys' old taekwondo oh, headgear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those <Yeah, no> sticks. <laughs> yeah, I'm still sitting in my basement. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Yeah, but I think like, yeah, with like what we want, like our goals and stuff. I think you just gotta like stay present and like like Mitchell talked about a lot like not focus on outcomes mm-hmm. just focus on getting better and like developing as a person and then that's the wrestler also obviously like so do you guys think if you were to go back in time whenever you guys decided who was going what way mm-hmm. if you guys flip-flopped you mm-hmm. guys would have the same success as the other for sure yes. I, don't, I think our skills are pretty pretty similar and we could uh I think like we adapted, do some stuff different. Adapted like to either way. But what do you think are your biggest differences wrestling wise? I'd say I like I don't know, I might be more like in your face, my hand fight a little harder, like my hand speed probably a little higher. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. I think him more like like uh, slower pace, hands might move a little slower, but I think we both have a high attack rate and try to get to legs and score. Maybe slightly better looking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 Who's got the prettier ears? 
better cool. cauliflower. His, 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 his ears are bad. bad. Wow. Let's see him. Let's his see ear him. got destroyed. <laughs> at, uh, oh, what? it's still it's bleeding. All cut off. Like, it was like at practice. It was like gushing blood today. Can you wear earbuds? No. Oh, no, I we haven't cannot. been able to wear earbuds for years. Well, I, wasn't that a thing where your dad would make you guys wear headgear, but you guys were like, oh, I don't wear that. Yeah, we. Well, like he'd come, he'd like we'd be driving to practice, and he said, "If I walk into practice and your headgear's not on, like, <laughs> he'd be mad I, at us." I remember a practice. Yeah. One of you were getting yelled at like, yeah. during. Yeah. Practice. He got mad at me. I think because like I was starting to, it was starting to pop up a little you bit. Exploded. Yeah, because yeah. he always was like, anything you can do to, like, not like in a match. What if your ear starts bleeding? And you're like, guy gets time to breathe or whatever. So yeah, kind of control what you can control, and if wearing headgear like eliminates that. So, but I hate wearing headgear. Yeah. <laughs> you guys yeah. do probably have the most enthusiastic mom involved oh in wrestling. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. She like you if you're in a like if at you're Fargo in the arena, you'll hear. <laughs> oh yeah, I'd be watching a flow match. Come on, Cole! Come oh, on! Yeah. But how, how do you guys rest? Do you guys like you guys must get like plus ten strength. Oh yeah. <laughs> as soon as you hear that, yeah, yeah. we. Like like we like start, it, of every yeah. Match, yeah. start of every match is just like a screech of our name, like go oh, go. <laughs> I like, love that. Usually it's like this though. It's like she's looking away. Yeah, she cannot, she cannot watch us. She cannot watch us. She likes like, being there, but she cannot watch. Is it has it gotten any better? I mean, like high school. High school, she's watched. College might but get like, a little. Uh, in college, like a big and match like, in those, all, like, <laughs> those, those senior level tournaments, she was she'd see the guys and she was like, she'd be scared once she saw the guy walking out to the mat. <laughs> like you see, he's all tatted up. Yeah. He's got his kids. All right, see you after the match. Yeah. You <laughs> see like, see like Daringer or like Max Dean just like. And she, and I'm like, yeah. I'm standing next to her watching the match. Or he's walking out to the mat and she's like, "That's what he has to wrestle." And I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> she's like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. And then he beat yeah. him. Yes. Yeah. So. I did read one thing off of uh, when you guys did like an interview um, that you guys are in bunk beds. Yeah. That's yeah. A, at our dad's, dad's house, we got not here. Oh, we yeah, got yeah. we got bunk beds and like he's he's big he's bigger than me, but he sleeps on the yeah. top bunk. <laughs> that is so. <laughs> just like, I gotta of, crawl up the. That is stairs. Like, do you, how much uh, weight room do you have from the ceiling? Is it like uh, like right? Probably here? hit my head. Oh, uh, your head. Yeah. <laughs> right. Sack completely yeah. off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's funny. That's um, kind of a funny it, story. In college, it was me, Crosby, and Alec, and we actually had a triple bunk. Really? So yeah, we, yeah. we pulled that off. That, that was, was quite cool. the heist. It was probably close. Yeah, but. it was. Um, well, one bed was on the floor, and oh, then it was yeah, like middle okay. and then yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. But that's nice. Um, Are you guys still planning on doing uh, like Fargo? We're not doing Fargo. I don't think I don't we're going to do Fargo this year. We're, planning, we're planning on making U21 like teams. making the Olympics or. Like, U20s. imagine you make the Olympic team and then you go to wrestle Fargo. Yeah, that. That'd be a bit of a change. Yeah. Like, we got high Olympic trials. We leave in like three days for that. And then a week after, we go to Vegas. And then we got a little bit off. And then Ohio, U20s, World Team Trials. Oh, that's oh, right. Wow. Yeah. So we'll be missing mm -hmm. a lot of school. You won't even be at. I don't even know if I can go. Yeah. U20s? So like U23s? Well, yeah. Do you guys wrestle on U23s? Yeah. U23s. Yeah. 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 Nice. No, no Greco for me this year. Oh, really? That, yeah, mm. the, the almost made a team last year. No, it's two two years oh, before. Okay. But the thing is, it's it's so frustrating, especially I guess after my like performance this year. It's like, yeah, Greco is like fun and all, but if I mm. really want to be like a good wrestler, yep. like you can't be wasting your time doing, and especially when I want to like do well in freestyle. 100%. Like I, I wrestled one fifty four last year, and I wrestled yeah. one forty one in season. So like one forty three sixty five is like yeah. way better for me. So I think I can. I'll mm. do decent yeah. there so yeah. um but, yeah i don't really like greco uh, yeah like i mean we've I mean, actually like we've actually done like a decent amount of greco mm -hmm. i was like in training private lessons training and stuff. Yeah. like i mean you kind of got to know some stuff yeah i mean it's more like foot sweeps and that kind of stuff like two on one foot sweeps and stuff it's like adding more to your game if you can mm -hmm. wrestle up your body too you're even more dangerous so that's true. I think Bonick mm -hmm. was a good example. Have you guys had any discussions with any, I guess just say, like companies involved with wrestling to like sign you guys mm -hmm. or? Uh, Not really much. Not much yet. We've had like guys ask to go on podcast mm -hmm. and stuff. So <laughs> yeah. You guys yeah. obviously. First one, let's go. <laughs> yep. And then like like Road to Resilience or whatever. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you've guys seen out that. Out Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, on Pennsylvania. Have a Mitchell, lot of the Penn State guys and yeah. that. Okay. Be like what those guys stand for and stuff. So, mm -hmm. how that. has uh, your guys' faith played a role in your life and yeah. just wrestling as a whole? Because that's sure. something that Penn yeah. State, like almost sure. all the guys, yeah. talk about yep. uh, exclusively. Yeah, that's kind of another reason, like their values and their faith, and they're strong in their faith at Penn State. So obviously, so, like we, we are too. Been brought up that way. Mm -hmm. like, so I think it's good. like 
they talk about that a lot. Like it's easier to go out there and compete free and like be yourself mm. and stuff and just have fun if you're if you got your faith. So yeah, that is I think true. That's pretty important. That's a good yeah. point. So with your kind of back to your like recruiting process a little bit. Um, mm. Were you guys hundred percent package deal no matter what? Hundred percent, no matter what. Yeah, like if schools would like we had a lot of like the first day, like it was pretty busy. Mm. Like we had a lot of schools reach out, but like some of them were like. We got you for 97 and we don't need your brother. And I was like, okay. Uh, See you later. That's crazy. They would just say that too. Yeah. And like a couple of we don't need to name anybody, but some schools like. We got money for you. We got but money not your for brother. you, but not your brother. And we so, were like, uh, uh, yeah, no, that's, like, that ain't going to work. Gonna just work. for them to make that call, knowing that you guys are going to beat their guy in that spot. <laughs> yeah. Damn yeah. near. <laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, that that was the end of that. If they, I mean, they're good guys. Like yeah. all of them are good, yeah. guys, good people. But that just wasn't gonna work out. We've mm-hmm. never really been apart ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like him going to last chance the other week or last week, and like me staying home. I was like, it was weird. Yeah, like, just mm-hmm. being apart. Uh, so. Oh, you didn't even like travel with just a. You're just no, training here. Just trained here, yeah, and then trying to minimize the amount of days we miss in school. Yeah, it's kind of adding up. There's a lot. We're gonna miss a lot. We miss three oh. days for like the Olympic trials and then bunch for Vegas. So you think they'd understand? I mean, they, yeah. they understand. Yeah, yeah our teachers are pretty good with that. Like, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Cole, you're in culinary with my sister, yeah. actually. <laughs> both of us. Oh, both of you yeah, guys. We're I'm both in her group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you guys cooking? We just made pizza. We made, yeah. pizza, <laughs> we made pizza. We made like biscuits and cinnamon rolls and stuff. Oh, nice. It's like us two and then like all freshmen in there. Really? Yeah. So, it's their senior year. They got all these easy classes, yeah. right? Finishing out the year. Uh, no. No? We're in, I mean, I mean, culinary is easy, obviously, but then like AP biology, pre-calc, anatomy. Oh, holy that, God. I, I'll tell you what, position. I never yeah. took an AP class in my I school. I haven't either. Dude, it's tough. It's I would tough. Think so. you well, pre-calc put, is, you gotta put in some it's extra an AP. Work. It's like AP uh, pre-calc. Yeah, it's like college math. Oh. I can't believe you guys are taking that with how busy you are. We, yeah. Yeah, what was your is your what was your decision process? Just yourself, or did your parents have any leeway to be like you yeah, should take teachers, hard? Honestly, I don't know what we were thinking. Yeah, because <laughs> I was gonna say like if I'm in your guys' shoes, yeah. like I'm like even like my college courses, I'm like okay, if I can take yeah. everything online, yeah. like like yeah. not necessarily to think to do the bare minimum, but like mm-hmm. I guess I always go into like Austin. How Austin Gomez says, I'm not in school to play school. Like I'm there yeah. to like, win like a national title mm-hmm. in that sense. Like our like our teachers saw like. We work pretty hard in school, mm-hmm. for the most part, but yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but like, like we, we were was excelling one... in a lot of like easy class, like basic classes, and they said we should probably challenge ourselves a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I yeah. remember your guys' freshman year, my senior year. I think one of you had straight A's, and the other one was like yeah. struggling in maybe Spanish. Spanish yeah. got oh. me. No, your Spanish. mom was my teacher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just remember yeah. you must Spanish have been like, yelling at him or something. Yeah, your mom was my teacher, but. You just didn't I know think I could have a great walk. teacher, but oh my gosh, it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was tough. I know she doesn't let you go on your phones as much. She's one of yeah, the tougher yeah, teachers yeah, on yeah. there. I don't, I don't, we don't. I think I could have had like all A's all through high school if I wouldn't have had Spanish. Because that was, yeah. Yeah, that was I, pretty I've tough. had like one C in high school and that was that one. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Dang. And pre calc Looks yeah, like tough. it might be That's, that. <laughs> that is tough. Especially, you can't miss like school during math because it's like if you no. miss one day, you I miss the whole system. I missed. Friday and Monday for last chance qualifier. And I get back and I'm like, what the heck is this? I miss the yeah. quiz and oh. then I got to make up a quiz. Yeah, uh, It's yeah. tough. But like but we our teachers at, are good about it. Yeah. We were at a camp with Jason Knoll when we were young and like he was like, you spend like a fourth of the time doing school as you do wrestling. You'll do okay. Mm. Like school, like especially in high school, especially. It's if not like, really that hard. You just gotta like everyone kind of goes through it, like yeah, legit. Like everyone. show Even up to class and put a little extra work in, or at least get a C if you do something. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. That I guess that's the biggest. I think the easiest thing wrestling teaches you is that like it yeah. makes legit makes other things easy. Like if you yeah. apply oh, yourself, yeah. you just see some kids like sitting on their phones during class or yeah. talking you, when the teacher's talking. Like I just don't like that at all. Do you guys like, have any vices of like? Do you guys ever like? on the death scroll on tiktok or you guys ever like stay up uh, like what you have anything like i guess bad vices that you guys have a sweet tooth yeah uh, nothing no, not nothing really, really just I mean, a little a, bit of a sweet tooth like, yeah i mean yeah but you I can mean, afford it i can yeah. a little bit more than him <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm trying to think i don't really think i mean like we just got snapchat like like a week we ago don't or really so. sure we don't yeah, really it was like kind of got peer pressured into it i guess because nah, like yeah, everyone yeah. uses it like and we just 
didn't really like it or didn't. And no one really texts. Yeah. So I guess we got it now, but yeah, I don't really use Who it. Who was doing the peer pressuring? We were on our way to NCAs with like our all of our buddies, like eight guys. We had like ten guys on the way to NCAs, and they were like, "You're gonna have to use it and stuff." <laughs> like, we, <laughs> we're not gonna, State guys. Are I was gonna like, have I, I, I texted, I texted them, and like I messaged and was like, "We making a group chat for NCAs," and we were like, "We have one on <laughs> Snapchat. Snapchat. <laughs> you guys aren't in it because you guys don't yeah. have it." So, so we got it. But there's but, nothing uh, wrong with iMessage. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think that that's one thing that I think you guys have over mm-hmm. a vast majority of people is that your systems put in place are mm-hmm. like. It makes yeah. it so easy to not slip into like a bad habit. That yeah. way, you, like, we don't like. This might sound we live bad, a pretty but we clean don't, life. We don't and stuff. like. All I say is we don't like party or yeah. at all. We don't really yeah. hang out with a lot of people. Right. I mean, kind of just keep it in like our circle. I sure. guess. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I don't know. yeah. Other than I mean, you guys having the party with the UFC 300 tonight. Yeah. What are your yeah. predictions for Bo Nickel and just as a whole domination? First round knockout. Or Not submission, ball. submission probably maybe. Take him to the but ground. I think control. it's like the highest favorite oh, yeah. of all time, yeah. or something like that. That's, it's something crazy like that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's a good card. I'm excited. Yeah. Other than Bo Nickel, who are you most looking forward to on it? I like watching Oliveira fight. Yeah, I love that dude. Yeah. Or Gaethje, yeah. Justin yeah. Gaethje. That'll yeah. be a good fight, I think. Holloway, two guys just coming scrap. up a weight. Dude, that but, whole card is just. Yeah. Or Pereira. Dude, yeah. Figueredo and Garbrandt is the first fight. Yeah. Of the whole night. Yeah. Did you Jeez. see uh, Pereira weighed in at two at two hundred five? He's like two thirty oh, sure now. Like two forty, yeah, yeah. two thirty two or he's something. Like two thirty two, yeah. Jeez, that's yeah. freaking crazy. And that crazy. jury, yeah, guy, yeah. For Jaka, I saw like in the middle of the night, he was like standing outside of the arena, just like looking at. Yeah. It. <laughs> oh, he had those, yeah. those weird that? stuff. That, doesn't he? Yeah. Is he the same guy who puts a finger in front and like focuses on something? Yes. Too far and then yes. Do you see the guy like with the <laughs> yeah the yeah, hair? Yeah. yeah. There's a video of him just standing in the middle of Las Vegas staring at the arena like right in front of it yeah. and there's like mm-hmm. fans like looking at him like scared to I think approach that's pretty him. sad yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's do, you th- do you think you guys are gonna cause in high school you guys really don't have like big celebrations other than like pointing your state titles yeah. what up uh, what do you guys ever think of doing like the bringing out the guitar like is it just no, cool no, calm no, and collected no, I, like I think it's just gonna I think just the philosophy stay, our dad always cool. told us was like the more you celebrate the more the guy thinks like it's a big deal that you beat him ah uh, so like yeah, if I go like yeah, celebrate super hard, like that guy like it was a super big deal that I beat him. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, guess we don't really like celebrating much. Like your freshman year though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I celebrated. I celebrated a little when he bit. Beat Brody? Like, I flexed. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I do remember was, the flag. Uh, I think I flexed, it wasn't that bad. There was there could be way other like it was you kind of fl- like a whole bodybuilding show almost. <laughs> I think I like this. I don't remember. remember that. Flex, dude, that's yeah. a, the picture in the gym. It's the flag. The picture with the yeah, mask yeah. on of him, yeah. like, dude. Oh, as a as a freshman, you were shredded. Like yeah, at that yeah. pic was. Yeah. That, that was picture was. That, I think that picture was going around the school. Like what the? <laughs> 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 you get tested for roids? Yeah. Or no. <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> no. That's funny. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What are what are your numbers in the weight room right now? Uh, I mean, we bench. Bench is probably like three, three thirty. Uh, little right, you got maybe a little, little more. Little. Squat, we're squat, squat like probably around four hundred. Deadlift, mm-hmm. probably around five hundred. Are you both like the same lifting same? Some of yeah, my lifts are more lifts. than his. Some of his are more than mine. We've like, been starting okay. to like clean a lot. We like clean a lot. Clean and snatch. snatch. What? How much do you clean? Him probably, probably like three hundred. Around <laughs> around three hundred yeah, for around three hundred, maybe a little less. Me probably like two eighty. Is that with Hulk Quest in the? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, he's the guy. Yep, he's yep. helped us a lot. Dude, I swear, every time I come in there, it's I don't go in there often, but when yeah, I do, he's I, always, he's always like talking about you with people, yeah. like yeah. all the Mirs the yeah. Solo boys, yeah. <laughs> kind of like his pride and joy a little bit, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, he made you like all your programs for a while. Well, this now, is right? kind of funny story. We were he got us on a program like. He's kind of old school, which we like. Like he was doing like a Nebraska football, like nineteen something, like oh, program sure. lifting program, yeah, yeah. and we were doing it. And like our numbers were just like ooh, we were getting so much stronger so yeah. fast. And then like the whole East football team got on our program, really, and they're still so now, on our program. And they had a lot of su- they had like a lot of success. The whole team, like they had a pretty good year. Like the year after they got on our program, they like made the playoffs. Whoa. Like did really good. That was kind of probably yeah. not because of just yeah. that, obviously, but I'm well, sure it and I guess yeah. I complete. I wrote this down in my notes, but you guys were like killers in football too, and then you guys quit yeah. that right before high school. We played no, our we freshman, played our freshman, freshman year, year, like, and it was our. We were playing Thursday nights. We played Friday Thursday nights, nights both back to back. Yeah, we were like, and the team was just 
team wasn't great. Right. I mean, we went 0 and 8, I think. Yeah. But I mean, but like so. we would on JV, it'd be kind of like. It's pretty fun on We'd JV. have like oh, a couple games. Like I had four touchdowns. He had three. He'd just run for like 200 <laughs> yards. They, yeah. They're both on defense. One yeah. four touchdowns. The other yeah. Three. yeah. But then like he would just play defense on JV. Mm. And I'd just play offense. Yeah. Because on varsity, I, I played running back. And then he played linebacker. Mm-hmm. Like we started almost. We started on varsity as freshmen. And then like you I just, actually had one touch on a varsity. And it was against both. the East. Really? <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. There for that? Yeah. yeah. And then you guys were just like, if I really want to accomplish my wrestling goals, like was, it, yeah. was yeah. it like your decision or like? 100%. Yeah. Like yeah. Our dad doesn't, like our parents don't push us to do anything like we choose to. Mm-hmm. But like we knew we wanted to wrestle in college. So like this isn't like we, we like wrestled once a week during football season. Mm-hmm. And like. That wasn't cutting it at all. That wasn't. Right. I, was, I wrestled like, I'd go to wrestle and I was like. What the heck am I mm. doing? Like we competed still, like, like during we competed football. During we did football. A, like we, we did, did a competition, it. and I was and like, like, "This is just not." I think I wrestled for Kundal, I think, oh. and like it was pretty bad. I think. Yeah, he wrestled like yeah. when I was a freshman, like just coming out. We were of playing football. football, and he's wrestling. Like, like the first week of football, I, I wrestled for Kundal, like, and I was like, "Yeah, if I want to be at that level, I gotta make some changes." Dang. So yeah. I, w- yeah. I almost wish your dad was here to tell the story <laughs> yeah. about his his. Uh, Oh, what was it? He played football in high yep. school. He was yeah. He played football in high school. I wish he's you, a big I wish guy. you could just show him. He's, he's a big yeah, guy. He's huge. <laughs> yeah. He was telling me about a game. This is like when I, we mm. were all in youth. Yeah. Yeah. He had like what was it, like six yeah, touchdowns. I think he had six, six touchdowns. Yards. Six touchdowns against, against Arrowhead. Arrowhead. Maybe in like in wow. the playoffs. Running back. And then, yeah. he like, and then he went to play football at lacrosse in college. So I mean, he he. I think he's like fifth, fifth. all time in tackles. Oh really. Yeah, and they made the Hall of Fame at Brookfield East High School. Damn, like sports just, Hall of Fame. Let's throw a pic cool. of him on screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, I'll tell yeah. you what. I like. I don't necessarily know what your dad looked like in high school, mm-hmm. but I couldn't imagine tackling him. <laughs> like, he was like, yeah. a, bowling, just like a bowling ball, ball of the with way. a mohawk. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> with a mohawk. Yeah. Yeah. mohawk. No way. Yeah. Maybe send you guys the picture and put it up. Would but, you guys yeah. ever mohawk in college? Uh, no. <laughs> no. I mean, Maybe Buzz, but that's about it. Yeah. I got a picture of you guys in youth with mohawks, I think. Oh, really? well, we had some crazy yeah. hair dudes, like, like sure. bald. I think we did Mohawk, and then we had, like, a buzz cut that was pretty much bald. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of kind of a later question, a little bit off topic, mm. but how's yeah. your guys' Riz, the ladies? <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't really. <laughs> pretty much not existed at <laughs> no. this point. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. They can wait when the time comes. Yeah, yeah. yeah probably Penn State, maybe. Yeah. More. Penn State girls. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we had, uh, last time we were at Penn State, actually, Superman, he, uh, yeah. he was, uh, he, f- Wait, did he flip over girls or he like he went? He just went. He just he ran up. Two girls were like tanning in one of like the yards or whatever. Who? And our our one sixty five pounder shoe. He runs out there. He has his clothes don't match. He's wearing like a bucket (laughs) hat. (laughs) That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. I think he got one of their. Maybe he did, but it was a that's that's good. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's random. It's random, but anything Mm -hmm. else from you? No. Well, you guys got anything else? Or? Yeah, we, we got a little present for you, like every podcast. Yeah. Speaking of shoe, yep. yeah. This, before we sh- give him it, yeah. we give the, you guys have probably seen, we give plaques yeah. to every guest. Yeah. So, Shu and his dad, they made all of them. They had like the mm-hmm. shoe shop. Yeah. And so we had number 30, and we were like, it would be cool if we could like cut it in half yeah, for you guys. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I give the plaque to him, and his dad was like, you know what? These guys are from Wisconsin. Let's give them these. Let's let's do something nice for them. Yeah. yeah. So he goes all out and gets these, makes this two giant plaques. Oh, jeez. So yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Thirty so too. Not the thirty. So Number yeah. thirty. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Oh yeah. 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 Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, these are cool. A picture with them. Yeah. 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 Thanks nice. for making them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah thanks. These that's are cool. Yeah, these are these are sick. Those yeah. things are I'm not even kidding, four times the size of the regular plaque. Really? Yeah, yeah these are these are yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Wait, put put them together for the camera. Yeah. Show this one right there. Oh, that is so that is that's freaking cool. epic. Yeah. yeah. That is epic. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. All right, well it's a good thing they sat this way. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I didn't even think about yeah. that. Uh do you guys have any last words for the podcast? I mean, yeah. Well, thanks for having us. Uh, thanks for having us. this was fun. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Well, thank you, boys. Appreciate yeah. your time. No problem. Thanks. Yeah. See you. That was good. I, yeah, did that we was do good. good? Did we do good? Yeah, you did good. Yeah, that was fun. Really? <laughs> yeah.